President Umnangogwa has praised Zimbabweans for sustaining peace, their steadfastness in the face of harmful sanctions, and their dedication to hard work with only eight days to the harmonized elections. The president stated that his administration is uplifting every Zimbabwean in honor of the nation's heroes through the Naika Inovakwani Vin Veo ideology, which serves as the theme of this year's special 43rd Heroes Day celebrations. Heroes Day observances yesterday, which took place in all 10 provinces of the nation, were special in that two national heroes, Ambassador Johannes Tom Enna and Brigadier General retired Milton Bisaziba, were laid to rest at the same time. President Umnangogwa thanked Zimbabweans for maintaining peace during the election season and addressed the large crowd that gathered for the commemorations and the double burial at the National Shrine in Harare. He added that the country should always aspire to be like its heroes, who work to promote unity and avoid divisive tendencies. I congratulate the entire population of Zimbabwe for a historically calm and peaceful election season. Malawi, Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe, Emlo. Congratulations. The heroes we are honoring today, such as the late CDE Tomena and CDE Saziba, would have desired unity, peace, and harmony. As a unified people, our warriors battle for our independence, sovereignty, and freedom. They have no knowledge of any tribe, location, clan, or totem. Let us remember that the right to vote, as well as the ideas of democracy, universal suffrage, and human rights, were not handed to us on a silver platter in their honor. We have a responsibility to reject all forms of division, including hate speech, tribalism, regionalism, and violence, both personally and collectively. Democracy, constitutionalism, good governance, and the rule of law are all being strengthened by Zanipia. In this sense, the late CDE Tomena and CDE Saziba were instrumental, he stated. The president claimed that for more than 20 years, Western nations have put economic sanctions on Zimbabwe in an effort to bring about a regime change. Notwithstanding this, the people of Zimbabwe have resolutely rejected surrogate opposition groups in every election during this time. He claimed that on August 23rd, Zimbabweans would have another opportunity to put their critics to shame by supporting the government's NPF which has launched life-altering initiatives with the help of the nation's God-given resources. Our country has continued to defy all odds 23 years after the disastrous sanctions imposed by some Western nations. Our infrastructure is being updated, and our economy is being industrialized and modernized. Never take this thing lightly. You are all heroes in the continuous struggle with the new imperialist vouchers that shamelessly swoop over the wealth of our nation. Makrakoto, Emlov people of Zimbabwe. Our DNA is wired for victory. Let us make use of our professional skills and capacities for the benefit of the country as Zimbabweans. Whether we are at home or in the diaspora, in whatever field, industry, or profession. The heroes and heroines of our nation shared this characteristic frequently. Among other things, they campaigned for the establishment of a constitutional order that was people-centered, democratic, just, and fair. They stayed steady and tenacious throughout their own travels and dedication to our nation. Let us emulate their sincere patriotism by acting as honest, modest, diligent, and reliable cadres, he urged. The late Ambassador Tom Enna was passionate about media that serves national interests. President Umnangogwa stated with reference to the national heroes buried at the Heroes Echo on Monday. There are more duties and obligations as a result of the media sectors opening up and the resulting greater access to information. C.D. Tomena, our late national hero, was enthusiastic about journalism that serves the interests of the country. In his honor, I urge the fraternity to use the media, the arts, sports, and the creative industries to uphold our Christian-centered family traditions and customs as well as our Zimbabwean identity, values, and African culture. He declared, The media must never sow division or foster self-hatred in our country. According to the President, the Second Republic would continue to improve the standard of living for all Zimbabweans in keeping with the causes championed by people like the late Brigadier General Retired Saziba and others. The late national hero C.D. Saziba served with honor and distinction as a defense attaché to the Republic of South Africa. The late national hero joined the Zimbabwe Prisons and Correctional Service as a Deputy Commissioner General in charge of operations, security, personnel, and training after resigning from his position. 
He had a key role in the organization's transition and modernization while he worked at the CPCS. The Second Republic is raising the standard of living of every Zimbabwean. No one and no location is being left behind. This is done in honor of the dreams and hopes of our dead heroes who never got to see a free and independent Zimbabwe. Every citizen of our homeland is equally important. We continue to be a government of the people, by the people, and for the people under our mass revolutionary party, zanu -PM. Never, ever will a puppet government of our former oppressors rule over Zimbabwe. Never. The national heroes C.D. Tomena and C.D. Seziba, who are being buried today, unapologetically shared this viewpoint. The warriors and heroines we are honoring today did their share in the same spirit and left us with a legacy of fortitude and unwavering patriotism. He remarked, President Umnangogwa, First Lady Amai Umnangogwa, and his two Vice Presidents, Vice President Chiwenga and Vice President Mohadi, laid wreaths on the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier as part of the Heroes' Day celebrations.